we'll launch Audacity. Let me open up some audio file. What have I got here? There's a test. Or you can e either make a copy or, or, or uh, go from the original. I definitely make a copy. Make your editing as, as non-destructive as possible. Okay, you guys tell me if you hear this when I play it back, okay? Are you guys hearing that? Type yes or no. No. Oh, you heard it very low, barely. Okay, you know what I could do? Let me turn it up. Let me turn up the volume really loud. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Each of the three little pigs. Did you hear that better? Did that make it audible for you? All right, fantastic. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that then. Okay, first thing I do, of course, is to get the junk out. To get the junk out, what you want to do is select a portion that has no no speaking in it. That's why I tell you, so when you hit record, count to three. And it's picking up the refrigerator, the fan, the uh, hum from uh, if you've got any um, DC offset going on in your on your computer. Usually that's what hum is in a recording is DC offset. And that means you need a new headset or a new microphone. Okay, so we're going to select a portion that doesn't have any talking in it. And we'll play it back. You can hear a kss. That's just ambient noise. Did you guys hear the hiss? Didn't hear the hiss? Darn it. Okay. At least you can see the waveform, right? Do you see the little doohickeys on it? Okay. So you know there's sound there, right? Okay, watch what happens when, when I do the remove sound thing. Okay, so I've selected that portion. You go to Effect, Noise Removal, Get Noise Profile. I've gotten the noise profile. The next thing you do is to select all. You can either go Control A or select all. Uh, if you don't really trust it, you can bring it down and select all with your cursor. And then the next time you go Effect, Noise Removal, it's going to remove it. Now, these are the defaults. So you can remove less noise or you can remove more. Okay. The default is eight. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to click OK and I'm, because I'm accepting the defaults. Noise has been removed. Okay. Let's go check that first part. The line didn't go completely flat. It will look flatter whenever I, I zoom out. But the hiss is gone. I, I know you couldn't hear the hiss beforehand, but you're going to have to trust me, the hiss is gone. Okay. Okay. Now, some other things that I, I encourage you to do. Now, before you normalize, I would do this. You see these spikes here? That spike there? I think that's a lip smack. Here, let me play it back for you. I don't know what it was, but it's a spike. And that spike, let me show you, let me show you what it would do if I try to normalize it right now. I'll go normalize 1.9. Watch, watch what happens. It didn't, it didn't allow me to normalize it because that spike is there. And that, that spike is the upper range of the entire, sets the upper range of the entire clip. So let me go back. Let me take that out. And so what I do is I go to all my spikes. I put my cursor right on the spike, I zoom in, and I'm going to take out that spike. I'm going to highlight it with my cursor. I'm, I'm going to go to Effect. I'm going to go to Amplify, and I'm going to take that spike out by reducing the amplification. Boom, spike is gone. Let me listen to it. Okay, and I lost the spike, but I didn't lose anything on the audio. So I took, I would take that spike out, take this spike out. It's kind of a big spike. Better not reduce that all that much. Let's see what it is first. I was just talking too loud. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm going to reduce that a little less. Uh, maybe that's too much. I want to make it look like the one next to it.
There you go. That, that looks more like the one next to it, okay? So there's a there's a spike that's going to mess up my normalizing. So let's take that spike out. Bring it down some more. Now you guys asked for this demonstration, so and now see how I'm got I've gotten right on the wavelength. I'm right on that spike and nothing but that spike. Get it out of there. It's gone. Let's play back. Ever didn't I didn't didn't lose anything except whatever random noise that was that I did. Okay, one more to get, and then I'll show you how much more it normalizes. It looks like we're going to be getting two at once here. Okay. 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 So we got all our spikes out, I think. Now let's go to normalization. Effect, normalize 1.9, and you'll see it grow in volume. Let's do it again. Because I can push it even further now. I went up. Now let me show you what clipping is. And you definitely want to avoid clipping. I'm going to intentionally. Uh, clip this. I'll increase the overall amplitude of it by clicking on allow clipping. It's the only way it will let you do it. Okay, now watch the waveform. Okay, do you see how do you see how they're cut off up at the top? Let me do it more. Oh, there you go. That is a highly overclipped. Again, let's see what it sounds like. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Each of the three little pigs were quantum physicists. Did you guys hear that? And you see how much in the red it is up here? It's definitely clipped. Clipped is whenever you exceed 0.0, .0 and it gets that kind of broken sound, like somebody's speaking through uh, gravel. Oh, okay, now, in terms of changing the tone, Effect, pitch. It's got me at a D. Uh, is that D sharp? That's a D sharp, isn't it? Somebody tell me if that's a D sharp. It's a D sharp slash E flat, right? Okay. So it's got me about D sharp. Probably what we want to do then is take everything out that we've been doing. Let's go to tone. And excuse me, pitch. Let's kind of ease it down just a little bit. I think I don't usually do more than like three. It starts sounding clownish at about six. Okay, let's preview three. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Let's preview four. Let's preview six. You'll see it sounds a little clownish. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. And when you get to eight, there, there's no doubt about it. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Okay. So if I were going to auto-tune that, I'd put about two or three. And of course, you can, typing is the most precise way to do it. I'm sorry, somebody typed something in and I didn't catch it. Let me go back to the classroom. Do I understand correctly that this alters the pitch and not affect the speed? That's correct. Yep, that's correct. Now, you can alter the speed if you want to. And it, it, it won't change the pitch. I mean, you can alter the tempo, and it won't change the pitch. If you change the speed, it's going to go up like chipmunks. But I can alter the tempo, and it, it will not change the pitch. Okay, so I'm going to speak 2%, 2.4, let's just make it 2. I'm going to speak 2% faster, okay? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to speak... 5% faster. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. 10% faster. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. 
I don't know if you guys are hearing that difference or not. I'm the one who recorded it, so I definitely hear it. 20% faster. Once upon a time, there were three little pitches. <laughs> so you notice how you can change the speed without changing the pitch. Okay, uh, equalization is also important. Let's see, anything else? You can, you know, if you're a guy and you really want that <clears throat> movie uh, trailer deep voice, you can put a little bass in if you want to. I'm not definitely not going to boost it by 12 decibels. Let's put like 3 dB of bass in it. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. I could get by with five. Try five. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. See so how you're getting closer to that kind of movie trailer effect? Okay, to, uh, you want to render these things out as uh, waves. Uh, that, that preserves the most quality and it makes it playable, makes it usable uh, with uh, more devices. And be sure to save your project. Be sure to save your project. Those Audacity files are important, especially after you've worked for a long time on something.